what was it like to grow up in other countries? Papa Walt was in the Air Force, and so that meant whenever he had a new job assignment that we moved with him. And so I lived in about 14 different places when I was growing up. I have to say, <laughs> poor, um, poor Grandpa Walt and uh, Grandma Penny, because you know that there's me, and there's Aunt Val and Aunt Michelle, and so there were three girls in our family. And I was in four different high schools in four different countries. And so every year when dad came home, when your grandpa came home, and he told us that we needed to have a family talk or a family meeting or that we all needed to have dinner together, we started to know what was coming. And um, it was like uh, the crying mobile left town every year <laughs> when we had to move because um, we all had made new friends and had new boyfriends and new teachers and new schools and new teams and we had to leave them and that was really hard. But the cool thing was is we got to go to a new place and you kind of got to start over. Did you ever think you'd have a career in safety? I was actually really fortunate. When I was in college, I did an internship and I interned on Capitol Hill and the person that I interned for, his name was Bob Wise. I think that was really kind of the beginning of what the rest of my life became. And it just so happened that he was a senior member on the transportation committee. And so I worked for him for seven years and I got to do his transportation work. And there were some things that happened when I worked for him that I think probably helped me kind of figure out what my path in life was. When I left Bob's office, I went to the Senate and I got to try new things. And that led to the job going to the NTSB and then ultimately becoming chairman at the NTSB and then leaving the NTSB and coming to the National Safety Council. And all of those things have been so cool. It's been like being in school for my life. So what is the biggest lesson that you've ever learned? The biggest lesson that I've learned is that you have to take risks. You have to do things that are scary and you have to do things that are uncomfortable because that's how you grow. Like taking a new job, that's definitely something that seems scary. Or maybe moving to a new place, coming to here, coming to Chicago, that was new for you and for daddy and for your brothers. That probably felt a little bit scary. Jack, Jack, you can come over, come over here. Look, Taylor, we have someone joining us for a cameo. Hi, Jackson. What was your worst Christmas gift? My family had a tradition where we were allowed to open one present on Christmas Eve. I picked out this box from my dad. It was a dictionary. <laughs> And I went upstairs and I cried and my mom came upstairs and said, you get downstairs, you're making your dad feel bad because you don't like his dictionary. <laughs> but the good news is my mom, your grandma Penny, she's the best. And guess what I got to open on Christmas morning? Hmm. Curling what? iron. The curling iron. It was there. <laughs> she was trying to tell me I was picking the wrong present. What were some of, some of your best plays you've made in sports? There was this one game that I shot a three-pointer to tie the game, and we went into overtime. Oh, you have some favorite moments from sports, don't you? Yes. What? Just tell me. <laughs> when I scored a goal in soccer. I think you scored how many? A couple weeks ago? Three. Three goals in one game, what's that? Uh, what do you mean? Like that's a hat trick, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Jackie. When you were my age, what scared you the most? What people thought about me. That probably scared me when I was your age. Okay. If people weren't going to like me or if I didn't fit in. How did you meet Dad? I met Daddy in gym class. The coach of the football team, his name was Coach Randolph, was the weightlifting teacher. And he set up me and Daddy to go to prom together. I didn't have a date for prom. Mm -hmm. And he asked me who I wanted to go with. And I told him Daddy and one other guy. And I was really lucky that it was daddy who decided to ask me to go to prom <laughs> because it turned out that he was my, my best friend for my whole life. 
What do you like most about your job? I bet you guys can guess what I like most about my job. Helping people. Exactly. I get to do something that makes a difference, and that is one of the most awesome things in the world. I hope you can find something that makes you live to work instead of working to live. <laughs> The end. <laughs> <laughs>